Now remember uh, Maui Kumwenda, she's the mainland tactics star shooter from Malawi making a mark both on and off the netball court. And the last we heard she'd gathered a garage full of second hand goodies to give out back home. She can't believe how much we Kiwis throw away and neither can the people she delivered the stuff to in Malawi. Well she's been there and done that and over the weekend she got her own very special gift which ended up being her lucky charm. Here's Rachel Parkin. Saturday morning, tactics training, and it's hard to miss Maui Kumwenda. She is incredibly loved. Plucked from the back sticks of Malawi, Maui was last season's top shooter, now playing for the bottom ranked team. Malawi has more of Ma Maui's. <laughs> Could you imagine what, what they'd be like if they're in a, in a franchise team like that? Exactly. But on a cold Christchurch morning ahead of the team's final hit out, and let's be honest, a chance for redemption, they uh, hadn't won a game. Maui Kamwenda was blindsided. Do you see Maui? Her mother cost her there from halfway across the world thanks to a very generous and anonymous supporter. To get to New Zealand, the 61-year-old mum had to walk for four hours, ride a bus for 10 hours and catch four flights. I don't know how she keeps it there. <laughs> the journey took over three days. I'm dead. <laughs> how good was that? Uh, it is good. Very good. Very good. So many tears. I... <laughs> I thank you all. <laughs> May God bless you all. Aww. It was nearly a year ago when we first met Costa back in her tiny village. Hello, Hello. I'm, I'm Heather. I'm Costa. And learned about a young girl who played on this very court with a ball made of melted sheets. Is your mum proud of mine? Yes. Of course. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. Grateful for her new life in New Zealand, Maui, the pro netballer, gathered second-hand goodies for those in need back home. Clothing, books, bikes, you name it, for Africa. And boy did it go down a treat. We thank the people of New Zealand for their support. <laughs> Maui filmed handing the goods out for a Malawian sports show. You see, back home, Maui Kumwenda is a superstar. Mwai has set a very good example to those with money and materials to reach out to the needy. Maui has long since adapted to the New Zealand way of life. Yeah, this is a mum. <laughs> so you can make one of these in the morning. But the temperature, the technology, is very different, very surreal for her mum. Do you feel a bit, can you translate if she doesn't understand? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you're dreaming? It yes, like I'm dreaming. You're dreaming. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't yeah. need a translator for that one. <laughs> Maui might not have got her height from her mum, but she definitely inherited her netball skills. Oh, yes. Yeah, my mum says she was playing netball before. Yeah. Playing well. I would well. say. Playing well. <laughs> As a centre. As a centre. Yeah. Because you're shorter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a weekend of firsts for Costa. First time in New Zealand and first chance to watch her daughter play at home. <laughs> oh, and he's caught wind. <laughs> crowd loving it as well. So if you hear that cry, you know who it's going to. It's good. Like all mums, Costa's faith was unwavering. You are going to win. You are going to win. You're so sure. I'm sure. No doubt. No doubt. As it turned out, Maui was to play a pivotal role in the tactics first and only win this season. Look at them, they're up on their feet. They know how brave the tactics have been. And this woman is going to finish the game. Yes! <laughs> the upset victory, no surprise for this proud mum. Oh, how wonderful. So three days of travelling and it was all worth it. Oh, see her how... daughter and see her win. How wonderful. And when she turned around and saw her mum there, how cool was that? And Maui's mum is staying in New Zealand for another month. Wrapped up warm, mind you. For her, of course, New Zealand is freezing. And Malawi, uh, Maui says a 25 degree day is considered cold. Yeah, then Maui and Costa will head to Australia for 10 days before travelling back home.
where Maui will refocus her attention on the world champs in Sydney in August, where she'll play for Malawi. We wish her luck. Yes, and one day she tells us she'd like to set up a foundation to, give, um, to help give Malawian kids the chance she's so grateful she had. How wonderful.